Oh my goodness, bolo buddies. I almost left these two huge big money bolos behind. Hey, bolo buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. Okay, Bolo Buddies, this is part one of a two-part series. I found five items today that have already sold for over $100. So you're gonna see two of them in this video and three in the other video. But this video also has other great bread and butter um, mid-range sales that have sold also, along with everything that I picked up that day and I will pop up screen shares of how I listed everything. So right off the bat here, I'm gonna show you the big money bolos. Uh, the first one here I'm gonna show you has not sold yet. It is completely awesome. I've never seen anything like it. It is this plush car. I, I think it's a monster truck actually. And it actually, the headlights light up. How fun is that? So I've got that listed at $65 or best offer. Now, these guys right here, I picked them up and I sat them back down and I walked away and I came back for them later. So uh, they are by Lillian Vernon. If you can find the Mrs. Claus and Mr. Claus together, those can go anywhere from $300 to $500. I could not find a comp on the Leprechaun but based on the solds for the um, Christmas, Santa and Mrs. Claus, I went ahead and bought the Leprechauns. And those are ginormous plush. So what they do at our bins is the really big plush are only a dollar. So I got those for a dollar each, flipped them each for $125 plus shipping. So I turned $2 into $250. All of this animated plush, I could not believe it. It's like somebody just dropped off all of their animated plush. Now, I grabbed a lot of it, but a lot of it I left behind. When I got home and was going through it, I did find that some of the battery compartments were missing. Uh, this guy sold really quickie, quickie, really quickly for $18.60 plus shipping. This little gorilla is super cute. The thermometer lights up. He is still listed and available in my eBay store. I do have a link down below in um, the description of my eBay store if you guys wanna check it out. That hamster, I had an offer on it. Maybe I should have taken it, but um, I didn't. I counter offered and they did not accept at this time. So I'm not sure if they'll come back around or not. Lots and lots of plush that I pick up, but lots of plush that I feel like maybe I should have picked up that I left behind, which leads me into please in the comments, Time stamp anything you see that you would have picked up, like this right here. If you would have picked this up, put a time stamp of three minutes and 19 seconds, I would have picked up that because I've done well with those in the past or whatever. I did grab the hippo. I did grab this Department 56 uh, Santa, and I grabbed this little gorilla. It's super, super cute. So these are all listings available in my eBay store to include this guy right here. Super, super fun. I love selling plush. I've got this one right here. I also found a snowman. I think this is the same one. Um, right there he is. It looks the same. And I don't remember seeing the snowman. So that could have been a separate trip. Maybe I grabbed the, the Santa at another one. I don't know. Sometimes it gets confusing because I do have a tendency to source similar things. And I see that Santa still sitting there. But either way, definitely be on the lookout. I did grab this Noah's Ark bear reindeer. That one did not end up comping out very high. And I feel like I missed a lot of good plush, like things that I probably should have picked up. So all of you plush enthusiasts, let me know which ones I missed. All right. There were a few that I ended up donating because they were missing um, the battery compartment cover. Some of them, I'll just disclose it. It really just depends on how the item comps out. So some of the items did get donated. That was kind of cute. Do you guys pick up handmade crocheted items? Let me know down in the comments. Lots and lots and lots of plush. 
Uh, that one right there, that octopus, I think is one of those ones that you get a policy violation for. It's reversible. So be really careful if you see those. Um, I know multiple people in my Facebook group have said that they have gotten a policy violation and that item removed for counterfeit. If you have not checked out my Vero policy violation videos, definitely check those out. It's a great way to learn about what not to put on eBay. Um, I ask my Facebook members to share their uh, policy violations and bureaus, and then they do that, and I put it in video format so you guys can listen to those while you um, list or ship and just kind of get educated on the things that are being taken down currently on eBay. All right, we're going to keep looking through this plush here, and then we are going to move on to a different area. But I am definitely someone who enjoys selling plush. A lot of plush is long tail, but, you know, some of it moves really quickly. I had one listed for like 10 minutes, and I sold it for $150. And um, that'll be in the next video. All right, this little musical clown bear, I did pick that up. And... I'm going to tell you right now that the item, the plush item that I sold for $150 was in this bin. I missed it and I came back for it later. So you're going to see that in part two. So stay tuned. Um, I did pick up those two little peeps, but let me know in the comments if you can guess which item I missed and came back for it later and sold it for $150 in 10 minutes. So again, that'll be in the next video. But I'm anxious to see, or I shouldn't say anxious, I'm excited to see what you guys think it was in the comments. So you might have to rewind and go back and watch really intently on the plush that I'm not picking up and see if you can figure out which one was a $150 plush. All right, let's keep moving on here. Super fun. It's like uh, a seek and find. Which one was it? So many great bolos this day. It was super fun day. You know, um, I've got a couple other videos that I just did, and it was a lot of bread and butter. It's not always I hit the jackpot when I go to the Goodwill bins. I show you guys my bread and butter videos, and I show you guys my items when I find big money stuff. So you just, you never know what you're going to find. Um, I have the video that I did where it says I will make thousands. Literally, that is no joke. I found the most amazing thing at the Goodwill bins. And if you guys have not seen that video, search Bolo Buddies thousands and it should pop up. All right, let's see what else here we find. Lots and lots of hard goods. Hard goods are my thing. They're my favorite thing to list. I did pick up these little items. I've got those put to the side for now. A lot of times I pick up smalls and then I will lot them with similar items. Like this right here is another Mickey and the Roadster. I may have, uh, did I put that back down? I should have got that. Uh, that was a bubble light and it was one that you plug into the wall. And I don't know if you guys know, but the bubble lights are no longer allowed on eBay. So do not list those. You will get that item taken down. I did a whole video on it. All right, there's the video. I popped it up right there for you. You can uh, check that one out if you want to know more about that. But it is under the hazardous materials policy, and they will remove it if they see it. So uh, be careful with that. All right, let's see. It's a keychain. I thought I picked that up, but I think I put it back down. I did uh, find one that was Wilson brand that I picked up. Pretty cool. Um, just lots and lots of stuff to dig through. I'm wondering if that pillow was glow in the dark. I'm thinking now maybe I should have grabbed it because I think it looks like it might be and it was pretty cool. I do look in the bags of markers and stuff like that. A lot of times I'm looking for like vintage advertising and stuff like that. Uh, it can be found. So definitely look at those bags. I always look in bags. Always, always. I have found some amazing things in bags. We are going to keep digging here. Let me know down in the comments, would you have picked up the big leprechauns or would you have left them behind? All right, I feel like I failed here. I feel like I should have picked these up. Um, I went back to them multiple times and thought about it. I do believe they are vintage and um, 
I left them behind. So let me know if you would have grabbed them. See how the shape is different? So that's what makes me think they're vintage, but I don't know. Maybe it was good that I left them behind. <laughs> All right. I do pick up crayons and uh, colored pencils, markers, anything that is new old stock, and I donate those. So that is something that I look for and I will pick up at the Goodwill bins, but they, I usually only pick them up if they're brand new. All right, let's keep moving along here. I don't know what that is. Should I have picked that up? I'm thinking now maybe I should have. It was pretty clean and I don't know. You never know. You never know. You can't look everything up, you know? All right. We're going to dig a little longer here. We're about halfway through the video. Thanks for hanging with me. If you guys are new here, let me know how you found the channel. And I'd love for you to subscribe. My channel is mostly about BOLO items, items to be on the lookout for, items you can hopefully buy low and sell high. And I do lots of BOLO content. I tell you guys my what solds. Um, I show you my bread and butter videos, which are my items I sold for $35 or less. And then I also do big money bolos that I sold. So those are separate. A lot of screen sharing and pop-ups for those. Uh, totally different style than this. But if you're looking to learn about what to sell on eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari, definitely check out those videos. Another thing that I do is I feature um, Facebook members and members of this channel. Um, I do offer memberships for um, people that want to join to get um, mentions of their bolos and videos. So if that interests you, awesome. If not, no worries. There is a join button if you want to check it out. But my channel is completely free. This is just something I do for the channels that are trying to grow. Um, it's just perks. I did not pick up that Mario car because I did not find the remote but I have found that in the Goodwill bins before and I popped up my listing that is still active. That car is pretty cool. I actually tested it over on my reseller testing Bolo products and it like flattens out and it pops up and it moves, it, it's really cool. So if you're not familiar with that remote control uh, little vehicle, it hasn't sold yet, but um, I'm hopeful, I think it will. It's kind of heavy. All right, I do check out these dolls. Depending on condition, I may pick them up. They're usually long tail. I left that one behind because her hair was a little messy. And one thing that I do not do is doll hair. I do not mess with doll hair. Not my thing. Here's another one. So I picked up this briar horse. I could not find the exact same one, but I, you know, briar horses are hard to comp. So I went ahead and listed it. It did not sell immediately. So I feel like I had it priced on point, but it sold at a, you know, within a month. And I was happy with that sale because it's very lightweight. So I always pick up briar horses, no matter what, um, I will pick them up. All right, we are gonna keep digging here. So I, I think I did say the briar horse sold and I popped up that screenshot. That was the sold price. Here's a bunch of pencils, but they were used. They weren't vintage advertising, so I left those behind. And this here is an, I think they're called Itty Bitties by Hallmark. Yeah, Itty Bitties by Hallmark. And there were two of them that I found. So I went ahead and lotted those together. More pencils. All of them were sharpened. Um, I may have grabbed them if they wouldn't have been sharpened and donated them. All right, here we go. I... Maybe I should have grabbed these. I'm feeling like I should have grabbed these. I went to put them in my cart and then I put them back. And would you guys have grabbed the Disney Parks mugs? Because they were in pretty good condition. They had the lids. There were three of them. Did I fail? Did I fail? Let me know um, down in the comments if you guys would have grabbed these mugs. I was really looking them over. I mean, I spent some time on them there. <laughs> And then I left them. I have no idea what that is. Is that some sort of curling iron? All right. Lighted archway. That was interesting. Some things like I look at when I'm there and then I look at the video back and I'm like, I really don't remember picking that up. Should I have grabbed it? Um, I did that with some hankies at, um, in another video I recently put out. I was like, I should have grabbed these hankies. Why didn't I grab the vintage hankies? 
And I was like, well, maybe there were boogers on them. And somebody's like, in my comments, they're like, did you say boogers? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I said boogers. All right, this is super awesome. And I did price this high. I couldn't find other ones. It's my first rosary and it's a baby toy. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, I do have best offer option available on that. So somebody can make me an offer. It is a first class item. So it'll ship pretty cheaply. And um, I thought it was a really great find. Uh, didn't weigh much, so probably had about 50 cents in it. All right, we're gonna keep digging. I love the bins. I'm itching to go. Itching to go, that's for sure. What is the one thing that you look for most when you go to the Goodwill bins? And that was an empty case. And I will tell you that empty cases can sell and maybe I should have picked that up. Okay, the little blue guy I picked up was a Neopet figure. And that's a good example of a toy that I picked up that's harder to find and comps out well. So I did price that at $13. And didn't I already pick these up? Oh yeah, I'm going through the video the second time. <laughs> And doing the voiceover, oh my goodness. I go through the first time and pop up the screenshots. Oh, goodness me. Anyway, those were roller hair clips and I have those listed. I'm losing my, uh, my mind right now, I think. I was like, I already talked about that. Nope, you didn't already talk about it. All right, uh, fun things like scales in the bins. Anybody sell scales? Let me know. I Maybe a cool vintage scale like that you weigh yourself with. Somebody could quite possibly do okay with something like that. Always look in the bags. I know I said that. But uh, Thomas the Train, I always pick up the trains. Right now, I have a Ziploc bag that I am filling up with any trains that I pick up. And I am going to make small lots. Now, I will tell you some trains do well individually. If one of them looks like a harder to find train, not your typical Thomas, definitely look those up. This right here is a Mickey Mouse smock. It's really vintage and not in great, great condition. I ended up finding a yellow one also, so I decided to pick them up since they're super lightweight and I know that people collect these types of items. So those are available in my eBay store as well. I do have a coupon for uh, my viewers. I believe it's get 20% off with code BOLOBUDDIES when you check out. That doesn't work with Best Offer or um, other coupons, but it is available if you wanna use it. But I always tell you guys, if you see something you like, make me an offer, put in the notes Bolo Buddies, and um, I'll definitely take that into consideration for sure. I think I listed some of those, but I can't remember what they were called, so I didn't pop up a screenshot. I think I kept a few and then threw a few back. Not 100% sure, I may have thrown them all back. I got a lot of stuff today or this day at the bins. Lots and lots of stuff. All right. Let's keep going here. Favorite thing I've found so far? Drop it in the comments. And what, how much do you pay at your Goodwill bins? I think mine, the last time I was there, it was $1.89 a pound. And I think 59 cents a pound for media, but I have not been back in probably over a month. So I'm expecting another increase. I just feel like it's coming. I could be totally wrong. I think they had one in December. So how often do they change and increase the prices at your bins? Uh, I'm guessing it probably varies by location. I usually pick up dinosaurs, Jurassic World, Jurassic Park, um, people are always looking for those, usually long tail, but um, they do sell. This is some sort of big princess dress, I think. Probably would have been good for like, is it called cosplay? I left it behind. Should I have picked it up? I don't know. Maybe I should have. Let me know what you guys think in the comments if you would have grabbed that up. All right. Let's see what we have lurking in the Goodwill bins. All right, we've got a uh, Paw Patrol car. Definitely pick all of those up. A lot of times I lot up the Paw Patrol, so that's another thing I have a pile of that I need to list. I will say that some of them do very well individually, so if it is a harder to find piece, 
you can um, sell them individually as well as small lots. That's a little Batman figure. I don't think I got it, or maybe I did. If I did, I'm putting it in a lot. Sometimes I do toy boxes, and um, this is a Polly Pocket Compact. It didn't have the little people in it, so really just a bread and butter, but uh, when I picked it up, I wasn't sure if it did or not, so went ahead and threw them in my cart. They're lightweight. I like picking up Polly Pocket. I will pick up the newer stuff. Love finding the old vintage stuff, but the vintage items are much harder to find. I don't know who that guy is, but wondering if I should have picked him up. All right, let's see what we got here. Lots of just miscellaneous stuff. I did grab that PJ Masks car and I do have it listed. Um, I think I pulled some of the characters from, or the figures from another thing that I already had. Uh, the, those right there, what are they called? Wine bottle corks. Do you guys pick those up? Should I have picked those up for crafters? I was wondering about that, watching this back, thinking maybe I should have grabbed those. They're probably pretty lightweight. I probably could have done small lots. So here's some more PJ Masks. Again, for the PJ Masks, Paw Patrol, all those little character shows, um, I will put those in small lots typically. There's a PJ Masks thing right there. I did not pick that up. Maybe that would have been a good replacement part. All right, if I recognize it and know that it is a um, good replacement part, I will pick it up. Replacement parts are going to be more long tail. DVDs that are sealed, I definitely grab the sealed ones. They are kind of sitting in a pile right now. I haven't got those listed yet, but I will. Um, bread and butter, bread and butter, bread and butter. And a lot of times long tail, but they do sell. And I can get them so cheap that if they're sealed, I don't have to worry about testing them. I can just scan that barcode, super easy to list, take a few pictures, and it is done. So easy money on that. Uh, bigger puzzles like this with a lot of pieces, definitely if they are new and sealed, look those up. A lot of them can be big money. Many of them are bread and butter. But if they, uh, it seems like the ones with the more pieces do better. But remember, if it's open, you're gonna probably have to count the pieces or put the puzzle together if you want somebody to buy it. So uh, that's a lot of work and a lot of time and something I'm not willing to do. So I usually skip the puzzles unless they are sealed. Okay, I see other hands. Who's gonna get it first? You guys ever feel like that at the bins? When, when people are close, you're like, oh my goodness, they're going to get it before me. And you just grab it really quick. Okay. Have any of you ever had an altercation or a fight at the bins, like an argument with someone? Let me know down in the comments. I know that um, I've seen a few at my Goodwill bins for sure. Uh, people steal carts. Uh, people are just not nice to each other. It's very, very uh, bad. Uh, how people treat each other. So you guys, I encourage you, if you're at the bins, you know, just, just be nice. There's enough for everyone. Um, I don't know. Same with my Facebook group. If you're in my Facebook group, just be nice. This right here, I picked it up. I got it home and I pulled on that chin strap and it broke. So that guy got donated. It was a dog toy. So probably not the best pickup anyway. All right, that's an ornament. And I left it behind. I do pick up ornaments. All right, these are the Mickey Mouse and the Roadsters. I think that's what they're called. I did find, I think, four or five of these. I do have them listed. I'm going to pop up a screenshot here for you guys right there. I've got those listed at $16.25 or best offer. Uh, those are great. People will pick those up as replacements for their kiddos when they lose them or if they just want them. Um, more and more people, I think, are buying pre-owned toys. So there is definitely a market for it. So if you're skipping the toys, you might wanna think twice about it. A lot of times they are long tail, um, which means they take a little while to sell, but they are great bread and butter. Um, the pool float that I picked up, I do pick those up from time to time. I always pick these up. I've got like three of them stuck on my fridge with all the letters. I'm waiting to get more letters and then I will make sets of those. So they just, 
they're magnets and I just stick them to the fridge in my listing room. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Be sure to check out some of my other videos. Watch for part two to come out because, oh my goodness, like I said, there are three big money bolos in that Goodwill Benz video. Great, great day at the Benz. Should I have grabbed this? Let me know. Um, there's going to be some videos popping up. Click on one of those and be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.